Hi everybody! Welcome back to the lettering portion that has taken way too long to get to you guys, but here we are. All right, so we have our welcome sign and our welcome sign. The welcome sign is done with the dark blue mix for your lettering. And the welcome has the black mix. And it's really up to you which one you guys would like to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is just review first your mixing of your colors. So I have just a little piece of um, uh, palette paper here. And let's do our Prussian blue first. So I have, don't mind the little paper clip there. I have my Prussian blue. Just a little dab will do you. And I have my burnt sienna. So let's get that on there. And I'm doing pretty much a two to one mix here. I really want it more blue. I can always add more burnt sienna to it if I want to. All right, let's mix this first together here. Let's get that all nice and mixed in there. That burnt sienna just tones down our blue. Now, one of the things we can always do is we can test our colors, and here's our piece here, on the back, okay? Maybe I'll just do a little, hold on, let me bring that back over here. I just want a piece of paper towel handy so I can wipe away and I have my water. Here we go. A little bit of water here. I'm just going to do a little mix. Take my water. Yep. That will be fine. Just dark enough. All right. So once I have that mix in there, remember our mix that I did, the one to one to one glaze flow and retarder. And I'm going to add to my detail paint here. And I want to mix this together and mix this well together. You want it to have the consistency, consistency I can't speak today, of melted ice cream. All right. I really mix that together. All right. So that's ready. Let's wipe off our palette knife. I always have these little pieces of paper towel ready. Now our other color we're using today is our carbon black. So again, just a little bit. I don't need a lot. You can always add more. Same thing. I'm going to add my medium mix here. I'll need to add a little bit more here. There we go. And this is my black to go upon my Velcommon. Now again, I can add a little bit of that blue to the black to tone down a little bit so it's not so harsh. I still need to add a little bit more to this. All right. Now I'm using my 10-0 brush, that nice small liner brush again, for doing my lettering. Some people like to use a longer brush. I tend to like to use the shorter brush here. Now, here's our board here. And if you can see, I do have my lettering on here. It's pretty faint, but it is there. So I'm going to work from left to right, just because it's easier to do that. And it's the same process as what we were doing with our detail, that thin, thick, thick, thin. Now you want to keep a piece of paper towel nearby your palette paper when you load. And notice when I'm loading, I'm twisting my fingers and pulling it through and pulling it out. Okay, now let's test it on this first one here and we'll see if we want to add any black to it. So I'm gonna work on my W first. Again, I'm using my arm as a brace and I'm going to come down and again, here's our, here's our sample here, okay? And it's okay if your letters don't come exactly to what I have here or it varies a little bit, okay? I airbrush a little bit and I'm going to take that brush and come down for a landing, pull my way down to the end, slow your brush down and lift it up. 
There's the start of my W. Let me come to this next part here. Again, I'm airbrushing. I come down for a landing fin, push thick, bring it right on top, slow your brush down, and lift it up. Let's continue. So same idea. And I'm just, 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 I can't even talk. Just working my way through this. Let's come down for a landing and pull up. Uh, that might need to come down a little further. That's okay. I just go right over it. And again, make sure that you're making it so you can pull your brush towards you. Now this one, because this is coming up and around like this, maybe it would be easier to turn it around. And let me just pull out a my chalk pencil here, just so you can see. So this line here, just so you can see this a little better, is coming up and around that way. All right, might have a little bit more of a curve. So. I just reloaded my brush here, but it was a little too goppy at the end. So I'll pull the end and I just drag it across my paper towel to get that gloppiness out. Now let's get that line in there. Are we ready? Airbrush, come down for a landing. Pull it around thin. I'm right on the tip. And then lift up. And I'm okay that I'm a little off of that line there because we can wipe that away later. Okay, let's see. Can we see those following letters? I think we can. Oh, let me just go over them a little bit so you can maybe see a little better. Here we go. These pencils are great. I will try to find the link to give to you guys. Here we go. All right, that's a little better here. All right, so let's continue our way with here. And again, I'm going back and forth. I'm loading my brush as I need, pulling it through. Dab the edge a little bit. Come back here. All right, so I've got my E. And I'm just starting airbrush, come down and up. I'll usually lift and then come back down and pull down. I push those bristles down to fatten them, line out, take the pressure off to thin the bristles out, and lift up. Continue around to my L. I'm going to bring this portion down first. I'm going to come thin, thick. Then let the bristles slow down and lift up that airplane. Think of that airplane taking off. Let's come down around the long part of our L. Push down, pull up, and let it release. Now there's all different versions of lettering you can find um, in calligraphy books. You can find in samples of different rose mulling books. So there is such a plethora of lettering to use and styles of lettering. Lettering, And notice I'm just working my way around. I'm really working with that thin, thick, and just giving my brush time to catch up to me. This isn't a race. You just want to take your time with it. Okay, I've got my M here, so I'm going to just take it one step at a time. Thin, thick, push down, and lift your brush up. And notice I took my bristles and I went backwards on it. So by doing that, I won't get a little flip of the bristles of my brush going out. Let's do that again. And it also gives a nice thickness to the bottom of this M. And lift. Push down. This one I'll pull down. Just bring it under this detail line there. It just kind of ties it into the design. And then we have one more E here. Let's get this guy in. Come up and around. If you notice, I kind of went out of my lines a little bit. 
I wanted to make it a little fatter and I'm okay with doing that and push down and pull it around and lift. Now I had a little bit of a miss with my lettering there. So I'm just going to use this tool. This is called a wipeout tool. It's a uh, Kempfer Tools USA. I believe you can get this on Hofcraft. I'll look and see. All right. So here we go. That's that's looking pretty nice there. I like the flow of it. I like how the colors, the detail matches the detail that we did prior to this. And make sure one other thing that you guys do is make sure you put your name on it somewhere on here. I'll do it with my little brush here. I'll come up the side here. Let's get a quick. I'm using just the tip of my bristles. Very, very tip and just very lightly adding that name on there. There we go. All right, so there's our first one. I like how that one turned out. All right, let's go to our second one here. And again, this is a little darker just looking at it. This one's a little darker than this one. You can always come back and go over it again if you would like to darken it up. All right, so now we have our second one, our Velcommon. Same idea that we did with our welcome sign here. All right, so let me clean out my brush a little bit. Again, I'm using a 10-0. This, um, this is my Short Shot Joe Sonia brand. So that's a 4015 Select Midliner. It's a 10-0. King Art is a good one to use as well. All right, so let's load up here. I'm in my black now. Oh, one thing now, one thing I noticed that I did. So I went in my water and I cleaned it out, but I didn't wipe off the middle portion here. And I was going to get a blop of water coming down my bristles, and that would not be good. All right, so same idea. All right, these, because these are coming out this way, I think I'm going to do them upside down. It might be easier to pull them out because we have this nice V that's coming up and around. So let's see if we can do that here. Ready? All right, I'm airbrushing. You're going to think of that airplane coming down for a landing. Push those bristles down. Start pulling them up. I'm going to airlift it over and come around. So where that L is going to be, that V just kind of tucks under it. All right. So now notice again, I'm turning it so that I'm pulling my bristles towards me. I'm going to come down for a landing. Push those bristles down. Pull up. Come around. And maybe I'll put a little teardrop in here just to give it a little extra zhuzh. All right, I'm going to continue my way through here. So this is basically the same style lettering that I used for the welcome. And I'll have to do, down the road, I'll have to do a video for my YouTube channel of, of actually spacing letters out how to really prep them for design. Notice I pulled up, I let go, and then I'm gonna come down, back down again, push those bristles down and around, and lift up. I'm gonna do the L coming down this way first. So let's airbrush and land and pull it down, and up, and come down, And lift up and pull up. Just keep working my way across. I keep going over in between. I'm loading up, loading up my bristles. I'm tapping out a little bit just to make sure I don't have a glob at the top. And just work my way around here. 
and you'll feel when you need to reload. I typically, because you can see it's fading out a little bit there, I will typically reload pretty much between each stroke. Just push down and lift up. Might not need to reload for this one because that was a short one there. Push down and lift up. Again, it's that pressure. Push down, lift up. Thin, thick, light, dark. Okay, let's continue going here. Continue with my O. Pushing down, up, come down the other side, push down, I'm going to pull up, and come around the other way, push down, pull up, and lift. And notice I stay on that line. All right, let's continue around here. I'm going to push my bristles down, lift up. Hold on, I'm just finishing a video, love. Oh, you're fine. Push down, pull up. Soccer calls very shortly. Okay, push it down, pull up, and just continue around thin, thick, and pull it around. Now notice I missed this line here. Once that dries, I'll come back with an eraser and I'll get that off of there. I'm okay if I don't perfectly follow everything because sometimes your brush and your hand has a little bit of a mind of its own. Push down. Lift up again. I'm pulling those bristles back. Push down, and lift around. And it's just one of these things that's just, you take your time with, you let your brush work for you, and you literally are pushing down, and then pulling the pressure up and lifting up, and let it float away on you. Let's not get out of the screen here. It's not a good thing to do. Stay in there. I'm concentrating so much on what I'm doing here. I'm not watching what my camera's doing. Let's do this one more time here. Let's get that N in. Push down. Lift up and pull it back. And then pull around here. You're all coming. And here's your lettering. And again, you can go back over this afterwards if you find that there might be a spot or two that you want to make a little thicker or thinner. Well, you can't really go thinner. You could only go thicker. Or you want to make a little darker. All right. So again, I'm so glad you guys were able to join me for this class. I hope that you enjoy doing the lettering. Feel free to reach out with any questions along the way. All right. Remember, it's just paint. Have fun with it. And it was a pleasure. Take care, everybody.